Alright, I like what you got there. Let me show you what I got. Check this out. Bring the bass line. Hey yo, shut it down. So much for sparing the time for uh, giving us your valuable insights. We continue from where we left. We've discussed uh, up until now um, the GCC model, how the government interventions have given a fillip to the, the bus segment. Let's come to the product for uh, the beginning. You have displayed uh, two products, one with chassis and a fully built bus, the X2 Blade bus, and the second one is the IX. Tell us about the market potential of both these products. See, as far as the potential is concerned, market potential is concerned, uh, the X2 is picking up earlier, the IX was uh, in a good uh, uh, requirement, but slowly as the electric mobility got settled and proven, now the SUs are trying to convert all the IX buses into X2 buses, reason being one is the consistency as i mentioned consistency in operations number two the comforts that are being uh, provided in the bus number three as the passengers slowly started getting into the public transport uh, now the requirements have gone up right. with which uh, as the foot footfall has gone up uh, now slowly the ix where it is uh, being operated slowly the stus are placing replacing ix with x2 so that's uh, that's how uh, uh, today x2 has got great demand other than ix right uh, when you look at your market penetration it's very exciting to see that you are penetrating from the southernmost tip to the northernmost tip uh, you demonstrated this even in your pilot testing uh, a word on how the customer Customers across regions have perhaps accepted your product. See, as far as the product uh, acceptance is concerned, uh, we are very lucky that uh, from the day one, uh, the product is well accepted with the customers. And before the customer uh, uh, chooses our product, uh, what generally they do is they go to the existing stu where our buses are being operated right and they experience the operations and also they understand from the stu that how the operations are and what the strength of the product and how the uh, 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 power consumptions are with which they get to know what exactly the product uh, is and accordingly they try to go with the uh, 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 product right uh, let us talk about the brand ethos because you've changed from when you first came to India, uh, BYD, Goldstone, now Olectra. So you've gone through that transformation in in um, Olectra. What is the current brand ethos? What is your uh, uh, vision uh, with the bus segment? See, as far as Olectra is concerned, as uh, uh, I mentioned uh, earlier, that today we have 10,000 plus electric buses on hand orders. Also. Uh, we have established in that we are establishing a manufacturing world-class manufacturing facility in 150 acres of land in Hyderabad. Right. The plant uh, is almost getting completed and as, as of today the capacity of the plant is 5000 numbers per annum. Right. However, the ultimate uh, production capacity of the plant is 10,000 numbers and uh, as I mentioned today we have 10,000 plus numbers of buses which are required to be delivered in coming two and a half, three years time. Right. Aggregates, you've displayed the, the blade battery. I would want to touch upon the power density of the battery yeah. and the localization of the battery. Yeah. As of uh, 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 today, we have inaugurated the um, blade battery, the bus which is made with blade battery technology. Right. And uh, in uh, Bharat Expo 2025, in a, we have inaugurated this blade battery technology uh, bus. Uh, which is uh, of its first uh, first of its kind and right. uh, none of the other OEMs has this technology and Electra Green Tech is the first uh, 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 OEM who has this technology. Right. Well, earlier what we used to uh, uh, do is we are building the buses with the prismatic cells. Conventionally we are building the buses with prismatic cell uh, the batteries which are made of prismatic cells. Right. Now what is being uh, the new uh, invention is uh, that, new development is that we shall be importing the blades which shall get packed as batteries okay. and we shall be using those batteries into the bus. Right. So now as I mentioned the blade batteries are uh, uh, 
energy de- the highly energy dense, dense right uh, highly energy dense and uh, number 2 uh, as i mentioned the weight of the battery is almost 30% less uh, when compared to the conventional right. prismatic cells right and the area that occupies is less by 50% with which uh, today what the number of kilometers that are being operated uh, a bus uh, Mm, being operated in the city right uh, with single charge we are operating 225 kilometers the same bus can operate 325 kilometers with single charge right the other bus which uh, we operate between two cities that is intercity operations we are operating uh, um, for a distance of 350 kilometers with single charge whereas with this current product we can operate 700 kilometers with single charge that's the amount of uh, 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 remarkable change in the number of kilometers that's a, that uh, that are being uh, that can be operated with the latest technology right the other part the other part of the uh, product strength is uh, safety safety is uh, the best part of this product the prismatic cells they have a small niche uh with these prismatic cells that are being used in the electric mobility when uh, a bus uh, or truck meets with an accident there is a possibility for the <coughs> smoke and fire right now with the blade battery there is no smoke nor the, uh, any uh, fire in the uh, with the battery right so even in the case of accident uh, the, the passengers can safely uh, get down of the bus and they can Uh, uh, confidently uh, get away from the accident so that's the amount of uh, comfort what blade battery is giving apart from the operational capabilities right uh, moving on to the final two questions in your portfolio uh, how many base architectures do you have and what is the uh, pipeline in terms of bringing offsprings from these base architectures see as far as uh, electra green tech is concerned we have 135 variants one of the other oems has these many variants right we have 135 variants now our intent and interest is to replace all 135 uh, existing variants with blade battery technology right. and we want to upgrade our uh, buses with uh, the latest uh, technology right uh, final question ending and circling back to your uh, partnership uh, that has been extended with byd till 2030 uh, a word on where does this partnership go on uh, See, as far as this technology is concerned, it's a pure. Uh, uh, as far as the partnership is concerned, it's a pure technology partnership. We do not have the BYD do not have any investments or right <coughs> any kind of thing with uh, uh, Electra Green Tech. Completely, Electra Green Tech is an indigenized Indi- Indian right. company. Right. So the tech uh, the association is for uh, uh, transferring the technology whenever we. Uh, uh the uh, new inventions are there with uh, or rather latest inventions are there with byd we keep uh, taking those inventions and we keep localizing the uh, inventions that are developed in china and uh, we uh, upgrade our uh, uh, technologies that's the partnership what we have right and uh, as you rightly mentioned it is there till uh, 2030 and probably we may extend that once we feel comfortable right. at that point of time right and are you, are you looking at different categories like double deckers and articulated buses is that on the card see this is all uh, uh, we uh, uh, this is a continuous process and we keep investing huge money on the research and development right electra being a technology company right we keep investing huge money on the r&d and this is a continuous and consistent uh, uh um ongoing process pro- ongoing process uh, right. as far as uh, the research is concerned right we thank you, you very we much we wish you all the luck and hope you penetrate deeper into the pockets uh, of uh, india thank, thank you so you. much thank you very much